Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Oh my God, Gymshark done did it again. There is a brand spanking new collection launching very soon. It is out of this world. It is extraterrestrial. It is intergalactic goodness. It is none other than the Mercury collection. I know I'm gonna get some questions. There's no release date just yet, but don't get it twisted. For my gram fam, if you ain't on it, get on it. All right, my Instagram handle's right around here. Definitely follow me on there because that's where I keep everybody up to date with all the good Gymshark stuff, all the launches. So definitely hit it up so you don't miss out. Subscribe for more videos just like this because together we got this. So yeah guys, the Mercury collection, how about it? Gymshark's been really having fun with their prints lately. I see you. All right guys, you know we can't have a video without Jim the Shark, right? Look at him rocking that flat brim. Oh, like vanilla ice up in here. Damn, too fly. You look at too fly, Jim the Shark. Also, peep the new wall art we got going on back here. How ironic, it's a moon phase, right? Mercury, what's going on here? It wasn't planned. We actually took a good year and a half to finally figure out what wall art we wanted up here because Bay and I are extremely indecisive people when it comes to things like, little things like that. So we got some clouds, we got a moon phase, and I have no idea what the heck that is, but it's like little transparent shapes and I thought it went well together. All right, so back to Gymshark, all about the goods right now. Once these go live, I'll have everything linked down below. Again, stay posted in stories. That's where I'll be announcing the dates of the launches and all that fun stuff. A huge thank you if you shop through any of my links helps this channel out more than you know. I always say this and I always mean it. If you ever do shop through my link, please message me on Instagram, pop me a message so I can give you a big personal thank you and virtual hug. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. We are looking at four individual pieces in this collection. We have a sports bra, a cropped tank, leggings and shorts. They're gonna be available in three colors. We have black, powdered lavender and twilight blue. If these aren't the most dreamy colors, just perfect for a Mercury collection, I don't know what is. These colors are perfect for mix and matching within the collection. So you can pair anything with anything and that's got my vote. I think we're gonna start with the bottoms first. Everything's in a size small. This is my true size. From wearing these out and about into the gym, I would absolutely say this collection is true to size. But first I wanna talk the design. I wanna talk aesthetic. Did you guys know that Mercury is the closest planet to the sun? Which actually means that uh, you're gonna look hot as in this collection. <laughs> so this pattern is something I've never seen before with the shark. This swirly line design just looks like a bunch of heat waves in my opinion, all right? It's Mercury, so it's hot as hell. You have that real clean, crisp, shark face logo on the hip. This logo is printed on. I'm hoping that Gymshark one day just embroiders absolutely every logo, but for now, I'll take what I can get. If you look closely, the waistband is actually a little darker than the rest of the piece. I think this is really cool. I think it adds a lot of contrast. You also have blocky contour within. So right around the booty, coming up towards the sides of your legs, and back around again. You got one big swoopy action of contour. This blocky contour actually kind of reminds me of Gymshark's Flex Collection a little bit. Just that bulky action going on underneath that booty. So not only is it contouring the sides of your legs, but it's also contouring the under booty as well, which we all know is a plus. There are no scrunch bums on these bottles, but you do have the raised seam contour, and it actually blends perfectly in with the other lines. <laughs> so you actually don't see it. At first I was like, is there even a separation? Because it blended in so well, but it's there, right? It's there to divide those cheeks for you. So in terms of overall fit, the shorts and the leggings, they're the same thing but I just thought I would throw that out there in case you thought that they were different designs or anything. Exact same thing, just different lengths. For the shorts, you have a mid-length short. It's approximately a four inch inseam, so it's, a, for me, a little bit on the shorter side. So the leggings being about a 25 inch inseam, they work perfect for me. They come right at that damn ankle, girl. All of these colors are squat proof on me, which leads me into our next discussion about the actual material. This is a little bit on the thicker side, if I do say so myself. These bottoms, you can feel just by touching them, feeling them, they're 
little bit rougher in texture. They're not that buttery soft. They're a little bit on the stiff side, I'm not gonna lie. Getting them up, especially like the leggings especially, I had to work them up a bit. But once you get them past your legs and wear them, all the way up. They're very comfortable. They're very durable feeling, straight up. Like these are meant for lifting in. That's 100%. They don't have a ton of stretch. As you can see, some of their other collections, like the Apex I just reviewed, I can stretch them out to here. These not so much, they're slightly more on the stiffer side. So keep that in mind. With them being this type of material, I felt like it had a little bit more uh, compression than say, again, the Apex, or the training or anything like that. I even think there's more compression than the Flex. They definitely hold me in and I feel that tummy control right around the band. But don't get it twisted. It's not like they restrict my movements. They're made to lift in. They will definitely be good for those of you who are trying to maybe conceal cellulite. I didn't see anything on the back of my legs or my booty. It really smooths everything out. But keep that in mind. This isn't a yogi based kind of collection. This is definitely one of those rougher, more durable, textured type of feeling leggings. So uh, it's definitely meant to be worked in, lifted in. Because they are more on um, the thicker, durable side, it also means that for me, they're completely squat proof in all three colors. Hala. And there's zero camel toe. All right, that's, that shit just gets smoothed out. There's not even an inkling. For me, the shorts stay in place. I will say, however, when sitting, like for example, right now when I'm sitting, or maybe if you're on a bench sitting, when I stand up, I do notice that there's a bit of a roll up here. Not gonna lie. But as I'm working out or just simply squatting already standing, they're not rolling up and snapping on me. It's just when I'm sitting, I notice they'll do a little bit of that roly poly thing. I also wanna make mention that when in a real low squat, I do notice a slight gape in the band. It's not extreme, like say how the vital was. You remember that, that vital gape problem we all had? Which thank goodness they fixed that, thank the Lord. This has a slight gape. So it's a little bit there, and to be honest with you, I really believe, especially with these types of leggings, I think I need to throw this out there because I am so bad at this myself. When you have this kind of legging where you kind of struggle to get them up, that usually means that you should never pull on the band <laughs> because it's like a stocking. This goes for any legging, but especially ones where you feel like you really gotta work it up a little bit. You immediately just wanna kinda pull it up and then tug it up from the band. I do that and I notice when I do that, it causes a stretch in the band, unwanted stretch where it starts to gape a tad. So my best piece of advice is treat it like a stocking, work its way up all the way to the tippity top, even right around here, pull from here up and not up this way because this is what's gonna cause that little band gape. I noticed that I started getting it in the leggings because I was pulling it up by the band, but I didn't need to pull up by the band for the shorts and I didn't have that problem in the shorts with the gaping. So keep that in mind, all right? All right guys, it's time to talk about some tippity tops. So we got sports bras and cropped tanks. We got a little bit of everything for everybody. So if you like that sexy Razorback sports bra, they got you. But if you like a little more coverage, throw on a little crop top, they got you there too. So let's start with the sports bras. Again, very simple, straightforward. Look at this. You got a nice racer back going on here. Nice scoop neck in the front. No adjustments whatsoever. I would say this is a moderate support, just like the rest of the legging. I'd probably say, for me, I do feel like it's more of a moderate to higher support. That's just me. I feel that with the entire collection. There's a good amount of support there. Got that durability factor, stays in place, ain't going nowhere. I tried and tested this baby out at the gym. I love this sports bra, not only for performance sake, but can I just say, like a lot of Gymshark sports bras, and this one is no different, it literally enhances my titties like no other. I don't get it. I don't even wear normal bras anymore. Ever since exposing myself to Gymshark sports bras, I don't even feel the need for regular bras. That's bae, right? When's the last time I wore a regular bra? 2014. So you do have removable bra pads in these, but what the selling point for me is, 
on these sports bras are that subtle contour. That movement throughout. It's not as in your face, that blocky contour, as the leggings and shorts, but it's still there. They're really good at their contouring, especially on their sports bras. I gotta hand it to them. They really know where to place that contour to just give the illusion of y'all Yo titties being perkier than they really are. All right guys, we are closing the show with these crop tops. These to me are more like that midi style where it's mid length, not a full tank, not a crop, but it's right in the middle. So it gives you a good amount of coverage for me with a smaller torso. So if you're somebody who needs more coverage or you just don't really like walking out and about in a sports bra, grab this to throw over top, they're dope. There's no bra pads in these whatsoever. It's just the tank itself. You still have that somewhat racer backy look, but you do have a huge keyhole in the back. So extra sexy in my opinion, okay? It is form fitted. There's no doubt about that, all right? It touches my rib cage, it holds me right in. So there is definitely a body fit to this tank. But one thing I did happen to notice is right around that scoop neck area, I did see a little bit of bunching. I noticed a little bit of something, something coming up here. So especially when I'm doing pec flies in it and things like that, where I'm putting my hands forward, I notice it bunches up slightly. I wouldn't say it's a sizing issue because it fit me everywhere else just perfectly. So I wouldn't necessarily size down or anything in this, but I figured it was worth mentioning just to let you guys know that that's what I've been experiencing. The front of these tanks actually have a huge block contour that almost looks like a superhero. It kind of gives that armory look where it's like, damn, almost, almost makes me look like, like I got a shredded core going on here. So they definitely contoured the tank a little more intensely than say the sports bra, and I'm here for that as well. So yeah, I love these tanks. I think they're a perfect addition to this collection. Alrighty guys, so what are we thinking of the new Mercury collection? Comment down below. Are you looking to snag or what? I just had to take it outside real quick. Oh, wind and hair, I'm here for it. I definitely think this collection is a welcome addition to their seamless range as a whole. It's definitely unique and stands the frig out. The two things that stood out to me in this collection were the prints and the durability in the material. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Just comment down below and I will try to answer them for you. I'm gonna sign off right now and try to enjoy the rest of the beautiful day. Thank you all very much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in my next video.